I was elated. I was filled with such joy because at that time she had been bedridden for 11 months having had a stroke on the 27th of September 2019 I beg your pardon 2018 and had been bedridden for 11 months she had a catheter and an NG tube and surprisingly those two tubes came out just a week before this very pleasant and welcoming news was received by us and the whole family. It was the same. Everybody was filled with joy. Everybody was filled with such contentment that she had been recognized and her achievements had been recognized as well. I think it's absolutely critical, um, especially because of the emergence of soccer as a sport that everybody follows, mm. to the detriment of noble sports like tennis. And I think that it's, it's, it's more important because it brings to the fore what tennis is all about and helps the younger people to acknowledge that there's such a sport with su such benefits. Tennis fraternity, I think that we should keep at it. There's a lot of work to be done. I mean, the number of courts around, I play tennis actively, and I know, for example, that uh, the, the number of courts available doesn't encourage as many people to take up the sport. Um, and so a lot needs to be done by your foundation, which is doing a lot, and I must congratulate you on my own behalf and on behalf of our family on the good work you're doing. But a lot more needs to be done in tandem with government, in tandem with local authorities, the AMA, so that parcels of land within communities can be earmarked for tennis sports and in that way get the youth to, to, to take interest in it. And it is only through this that talent will be ahead. Well, I'd like to say every good and perfect gift comes from heaven, from the Father of Lights, to whom there's no shadow of ten. So it's a beautiful thing that they're doing. Um, we hope and pray that they'll keep it up and fine-tune it in any way to make it better.